What is up, my squirrel lights? It is I, your king. Welcome you back to more Let's Play Okami in the last episode. We followed Kaguya back to the sanctuary and found a really interesting and intriguing and unknown secret about her. And that we'll be learning more about at a later time, but I can't really give it away because of spoilers. And this episode, it's time to go kick some royalty ass because we are getting sick of her being lazy and not doing her job. Especially Eastern. I think he's a little bit more fed up than the rest of us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I did not come in here expecting something ominous. Hey, Ami. I bet that's Himiko. Looks like that freaky shut in is praying or something. Just because she's an introvert doesn't need to mean you need to call her a freak. That's like insulting your entire gamer fan base. That's rude. Uh, what? I didn't say that. Um. Yeah, it worked up. You tell her, Ami. Benevolent the Matarasu, I have been waiting for you. And Isun, the traveling artist, you too, of course. Hey, how do you know our names? Anyway, first things first. You knew about that funky mist and the water dragon, didn't you? You've got some explaining to do. Tell us what you're up to. My people, my poor people, their suffering torments me. Sickened by this mist and terrorized by the water dragon. The cries of their pain wash over me like a torrent. We know what's going on. You're tormenting the people of this city. You must be a monster feeding off the ill will it generates. Now stop stalling and raise this grimy old curtain. Come on, show yourself, you old hag. Isu, your words are very harsh. But you are right. It was rude of me to hide my face from you. I like how even though she's a queen, she doesn't just order us to be killed for saying something like that. But never let the Matarasu, I, Himiko, the ruler of Seon City, offer my most sincere apologies. Queen of Seon City, Himiko. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it was so predictable. We all knew it was coming. I, Himiko, will not allow this evil to darken Seon. My prayers will not cease until we are rid of this curse. Until I have located the hateful monster's stronghold, Oni Island. Sorry, what was that now? Monster's stronghold? Yeah. Right? Are you saying that's the source of your city's problems? Can't say I've ever heard of Oni Island or whatever you call it. And what do you mean you're trying to locate the island? I mean, it's an island, right? You couldn't have just floated away. Oni Island is elusive. It vanishes each day at sundown, shifting to a new location. No one knows where in the vast wide ocean it will reappear. So even if I wanted to dispatch an army there, it would never arrive. You don't say. Still, why do you stay cooped up in this room all day long? I mean, what good will it do to simply pray day in and day out? Isun, don't you even know the object of this game? The whole point? Everything that it's about? Come on, you're better than that. Is she trying to mess with us? This is the treasured crystal ball. My family, the Yamatai clan, has ruled Seon City forever. That's just, that's a pretty definitive time period right there, just forever. I can foresee the future of it. It told me you were coming. And it will tell me where in the ocean Oni Island will appear next. Interesting. You could find Oni Island in a jiffy with that thing. 
Exposing a stronghold like Oni Island demands mu much holy power. But if our enemies knew about my prayers, they would stop at nothing to prevent me in my mission. That is why I have locked myself away. Prayers are our only hope. But the spearhead of the enemy's forces may already be on its way. <laughs> That's a pretty good story, Queenie. But I'll go along with it. I mean, what the heck? You are good looking and all. I mean, uh, I'd do anything. I'd do uh, E soon. Frickin' heck. Also. <laughs> Ouch, thanks for the warning. Be careful, you cannot approach me now. By taking this crystal ball in my hand, a powerful magical barrier is erected to dispel any misfortune. Apparently, Isun is misfortune. You'll be struck down by divine forces if you try to approach. This crystal ball ensures my safety, even if my enemies learn of my prayers. The barrier will protect me from their attacks. That's actually very useful. So... Let me see, so like, if it protects you... Yep, no cause for alarm. No regular monster could break my waist to all radical barrier. Okay, so... I guess that's good. Can I at least bite you? I can bite you at least! Yeah! Alright! Crystal ball on my foot! Okay, let's see. What do you have to say? Matarasu, I entreat you once again. Will you hear my request? The request of all my people. Yeah, I guess so. The mighty water dragon now threatens the peace of the oceans. I don't know why it has suddenly turned to savagery. The water dragon is a sea god whose task is to maintain order. So, though it may cause harm, we invite chaos if we try to slay it. In fact, without the water dragon, Oni Island is beyond our reach. What the heck's that supposed to mean? Quit beating around the bush and just spit it out already. The key to reaching Oni Island lies in the water dragon. In the water dragon? Even if the crystal ball shows me the location of the island, Dalen's powerful shield will prevent us from reaching it. Any attempts to break the shield will only result in our own pain. But the water dragon could break the shield with ease. It could form a bridge over the sea to the island. So you're saying that you'll reveal the location of Oni Island and the water dragon will break the barrier around it. Is that the only way to get into the enemy's stronghold? But what about the water dragon? It's out of control, right? I seriously doubt it'll be happy to help us. That is why I must ask for your help, Matarasu. Your powers could calm the water dragon and get it to help us. I cannot leave this palace, for my prayers require all my energy. You are the only one who can take on this important task. You gotta be kidding me. Do you have anything else to say? Make like friends with that rampage dog. Well, I do anything for a cute bay, but if my boss here says no, there ain't much I can do. Well, boss, are we gonna help Himiko or what? Help Himiko. As Easton said before, I'll do anything for a pretty lady. Bummer. Well, the boss said what? Oh, Amaterasu, you are truly benevolent. So I entrust you with this border key. Use this key to cross the border and continue into the land beyond. Oh, thank goodness. It is said that the ra that it, there is a race which controls the water dragon. They live in the sea beyond the border in the Dragonian Domain. They may have some connection with the dragon's recent behavior. Please calm the water dragon and open the path to Oni Island. You got it, Queen Himiko. I'll do anything for you. Now, she's actually a pretty cool character, don't you think? Now, oh, come on, Easton. You, I think you were being a little too hard on her at the beginning. Making assumptions and everything. Now, look at the mess you've gotten us into. Well, at least we know who's been controlling that water dragon. Let's go pay the Dragonian Domain a visit. Sounds like a plan to me. Also, <laughs> I'm sorry, but every single time I go through these scrolls, I can't help but think of this. It cracks me up. Freak. Where's Steve Carell when you need him, right? Alright, anyways. We need to go to the other area of Ryoshima Coast that I mentioned quite a few episodes back, actually. Um, so I have brought it up before. It's a whole new area of Ryoshima Coast, and area-wise, not land area-wise, but com total area-wise, it is the biggest location in all of Okami. It's huge. So I'm very excited to go into this new area. It's actually my favorite part of this entire chapter. Um, but we're not going to be doing that in this episode, okay? We're going to actually take care of everything that we can take care of here in the aristocratic quarters. Now, even though these guards... We've gotten past them, and Himiko's on our side. Those guards will be douchebags to you the entire game. And, hey, you can't come this way, blah, 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 and all that crap. So you're going to have to deal with that and use mist to get past them every single time you want to go around them. So I'm sorry, that's just the way it is, but you're going to have to deal with it. But anyways, like I said, we're going to be taking care of everything we can here in the aristocratic quarters for the remainder of this episode. we only got five minutes left anyway. And in the next episode, we'll be starting off by actually heading into... Uh, 
the new area. So look forward to that. And also we can finally get this whole area taken care of. Thank goodness. Oh, this music is so pretty too. I definitely prefer this music over the um, Commoner's Quarter music. I mean, the Commoner's Quarter music is very cool because it's like... Um, also, Amaterasu the bottlenose dolphin, dolphin when she jumps like that. But, um... The music over in the Commoner's Quarter, it's good. It's just, it's like, it's more lighthearted and fluttery. This music's just beautiful. Like, take a, take a listen for a minute. So pretty. I absolutely love the music here. Anyways, we got a stray bee right here, so make sure you grab that. Um, there is one more stray bee to be gotten left here in the aristocratic quarters, but we will not we will not be getting it for some time. Um, we are going to go inside all the houses around here as well soon enough, because there are things to be gotten in each of them. Um, or not every single one of them, but in some of them, so make sure you do that. Uh, another thing you're going to want to... I'm going to just let you guys know right now. Seon City is side quest central. And what I mean by that is it has by and far the most possible side quests of any single location in the entire game. The Commoner's Quarters alone holds that record. You add Aristocratic Quarters to it and it gets even bigger. I mean, there is so much to be done in Seon City. It's actually a little bit absurd at times, um, especially some of the quests that it asks you to do, because some of the hardest quests in the game take place here as well. Not... Um, any of the big five that I mentioned earlier in the LP, but um, it's still, they're still freaking ridiculous side quests. So there's a lot to be done here in Sam, but you can also rack up a ton of praise in doing all of them, so that's an upside. Um, also, you can see that Ben K is now situated over here. This is where he will be situated for the rest of the game, so you can participate in uh, fishing with him, and um, catch the rest of the fish for your fishing tome if you're going for the Platinum Trophy. So that's nice, and we will be very familiar with that location soon enough. Let's see, it doesn't look like there's anything else back here. I'm just going to let it turn to night immediately, because nighttime is really the best time to traverse the aristocratic quarters, because you can actually see treasures that you can dig up and whatnot. Alright. And I, I'm not too keen on exploring the canal right now, because, well... It's kind of hard to traverse when it's full when it's full of water, but I think I'm going to do it anyway, just because I would really rather just get all of the treasures while we're here this first time, and not worry about it at a later time. So let's just swim around a little bit. At least we can swim pretty quickly and get our way around the water. I mean, it's not like a problem or anything. I'll admit, I have no problem whatsoever like swimming in this game. It's just that there is a way that it gets even better later on that we will be getting, uh, or we'll, be, we'll have access to, um, actually probably, um, in about a dozen episodes from now, I think we'll, it's about when we'll have it, so, it shouldn't be that long. Alright, let's put a lily pad before we drown. It doesn't look like there's any more treasure chests on this side, I know where the rest are anyway. Bloom that one, and bloom this one. Alright, let's see, I think we're good on this side. And there's still some more things to be done on the other side of the bridge, so let's head over that way. Actually, it looks like another treasure chest down here, so let's get that one. What is inside? I don't... I'm not positive if there, if there are any stray beads in these treasure chests here in the canal. In fact, I'm almost positive there's not, because I, I know what the one the one stray bead left is. And I don't... because I only think there's three. We've already gotten two of them here, so... Here we go. Let's head on in here real quick. Let's see, so we got some more trees we can bloom, and also a chest we can open up. Let's do that, holy bone S, that is completely useless to me, and let's talk to the, I want to talk to this girl real quick. It's a song my grandma taught me. Apparently the water dragon that's causing havoc in the sea is actually a god from the dragon palace at the bottom of the sea. Did you know that, doggy? That little song she sings right there is actually... That's the only way to ever hear that track. It's actually part of the official little Okami soundtrack if um, you ever go look it up. A lot of people are like, where the frick is this song? Well, that's where you hear it from. She just sings a little song about the water dragon. 
It's kind of cute, not gonna lie. I always thought that was a little bit uh, silly, but I just wanted to show that off because it is a bit of an e Easter egg. Now let's keep the moon in the sky, please, um, because the longer it stays nighttime, the better. That's always the best for treasure hunting. Always. Let's see, nothing over there. So let's, oops, let's head back this way. Now, stop hitting your head on things. Gosh. And I'm going to run this episode a little bit over just so I can get everything here in the aristocratic quarters before ending the episode. So let's do that. And in fact, in the next episode, I will meet you in Ryoshima Coast where we can head over to the um, other area. Let's see, is there any treasure chest down here? Not looking like it. Let's see. There we go. There's one. Let's open this up. And this contains an exorcism slip. L. yes. Oh, that's going to be useful. You know... Thinking back, I was actually very tempted to use an Exorcism Slip M on Blight. I'm so glad I didn't, because that fight already was just the easiest thing ever. That I would have felt pretty bad if I'd have used an Exorcism Slip on him. You know? I mean, I did not honestly think that was going to be so easy. That may have been the best run I've ever had of Blight. But then again, I've never used Glaives on him in, uh... Like, ever. I just never have. I've always used a Reflectors and rosaries, which is weird. Anyways, what brings you to a dull place like this? This is just the guard room for uh, Queen Himiko's palace. There's nothing here that'd be of interest to you. Are you sure about that? I want to talk to everybody. No excuse, I was totally off my guard and unprepared. It's unthinkable that we were cursed at a time like this. I feel so humiliated, I brought shame upon my whole family. Must devote myself to guard duty more than ever to make amends. You know, if this game weren't rated T, I know exactly what you would have done. Alternatively to that, because if you bring shame upon your family, that usually means you kill yourself. When people are saying that this place was under some kind of curse. It was like I was having an awful nightmare the whole time. It's horrible that Ryoshima Coast was engulfed in evil. Petrified just thinking about it. I have to keep telling myself it was all a bad dream. So all we got, I guess all we have in here is a bunch of soldiers just pissing and moaning because they think that it was all their fault that the entire place was cursed. When it wasn't in all reality. So they just need to stop being hard on themselves. Because it's not their fault. Anyways, there's one last clover over here I can dig up. And that is going to be it for the Aristocratic Quarters and this video. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Squirtle King. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Okami very, very much. And I will see you all in the next one. <laughs>